Hey, how is it going guys? Today I'd like to show you how to use Steam CMD, which is a, as I written here, a command line version of the Steam client. And this tool is very helpful because it lets you download a Windows game on, on your Linux machine. All right, so you don't need actually to install the Steam Windows client using Wine, but you are, la you are able to run this software and download Windows game or Mac game. You probably don't need Mac game anyway. And also, by the way, Linux game. So regardless of the platform, you are able to download, uh, to select a specific platform game to install. All right. To get the software, it's very easy. There is this command that you can run. So I did run, I created a, I created a directory called steam command, dot steam command. And remember that if you install, so if you download the, the software in the dot steam library, uh, sorry, directory, every time you run steam reset okay to reset your client it's going to uh, also delete the steam cmd so it's better if you do not download on the steam dot steam uh, directory so as i say just create steam command steam cmd as you can see the the executable is here Actually, I'm going to show you how to use it. First, I'm going to tell you from this guide here. Actually, if you're, I leave by the way this in the description. If you read here, they are telling you to create another user because it's better. Um, but I, I'm not gonna do that. All right. So I'm just downloading the software and run it normally. But anyway, there are some some interesting uh, information that you can read here before uh, doing everything. Anyway, it's very easy to use. I'm going to show you as I said later, because first I'm going to show you how to set an alias that will make things easier. Anyway, you can launch the, the, the software and then just log in, okay? and you need your username and your password and then if you want to install a game you just type app update and then the app id okay of the game and if you want by the way this will download a linux game okay and if not if the game is not available it will tell you that it's the wrong platform so to actually download uh, or to over override this uh, platform uh, option you have to run this not so uh, simple option okay so steam cmd force platform type and then windows linux mac whatever okay so now that we know that i'm going to show you that you can actually set an alias in your dot bash rc file okay and if you actually open it, you'll see there are, there are some other aliases. So I'm going, oh, alias. I'm going to set, for example, my alias, by the way, already there, but I'm not gonna open that file. But anyway, you can set it by typing alias, then uh, Steam command, Steam CMD. Wait, I'm doing something wrong here. Equal, and then your home folder, wherever you install it, for me, Steam CMD. Okay, and then Steam CMD.sh. Okay, and now here you can add all the information, all the options that you want. For example, you can add the login if you want, but remember that then. Uh, your password is stored, it's visible inside the file. So if someone enter your computer and check the, whatever you, you set, if you set an alias, if you are using it in, in a script, remember that if you set the login, someone is able to, 
to read your password. Okay, so that's maybe a problem. Anyway, you can set steam command.sh plus login, username and password. Then for example, you can set if you want uh, the windows by default, you can copy this and paste it here. And by the way, uh, sorry, by default, the steam command is going to log in, okay, and set the platform to Windows. So you don't need every time to type uh, all the options. What I did is actually, I didn't set the login, but I just set this option, okay, and I called the uh, Steam command W for the Windows and Steam CMD normal for the Linux version. So I'm going to show you right now. If I type Steam, as you can see here, there is the Steam native client, okay. Then there is Steam CMD, which is an alias for the Linux version, okay. And then there is Steam CMD underscore W for the for the Windows uh, platform. Because this is actually an option which is very hard to remember, you know. So as I said, right now I'm going to show you and download a game, all right? So let's open it. As you can see, it's checking for available update, updates and everything as, as the, the normal Steam client does. And then it's set by default the platform type to Windows. Now I want to log in. I'm going to take this down here. Okay, and actually I'm going to press enter so that you cannot see my password. All right, so I should have logged in successfully in my account and now I can go and download a game, which is going to be XCOM UFO Defense. And the app ID, it's by default on the, the URL, okay? So app, and then actually the number. So app, update, and then, oop, the actual app ID, which is 7760. As you can see now, it's downloading, okay? It tells you the progress in percentage. This is, by the way, it's very lightweight game, so it's going to download it in a few seconds. And at the end, it will end up in your uh, native client as installed. Okay. And by default, it's going to install where your uh, native games are. So in my case, and should be your case too, it should be dot .local share steam, steam apps common. And here are all my native games, all right? And XCOM should be here. As you can see, XCOM UFO Defense is there, just installed right now. Okay, so success app 7760 is fully installed. And this is, is a window version. I mean, there is just the window version, so I can't go wrong with this one. And actually, if I close and open it again. And by the way, you cannot use both. Oop. You cannot use both at the same time. You either use the native client or the command line client. Okay, as soon as you use one or the other, one is it's going to be it's going to go offline. It's going to disconnect. So after I did that, I can exit here. And it's going to exit. And now I can open here my library. And as you can see, you know, it's like 
it appears uh, installed. By the way, I cannot launch it because it's a Windows game, but as you can see, it appears installed. As you can see it's white while the other are gray. So this show you that the game actually got installed and it appears as uh, as it's there, you know. All right, another thing, you can actually force the install directory here by running this command, force install dir, and then select whether the directory you want to install the game. And that's it. This is very useful in my opinion, and you can, by the way, creating all the script that you want. You can just do everything as you wish. You know, it has a lot of options that you can you can check all the all of them uh, in this page. I'm going to leave in the description, as I said. And that's it. So, if there are some DRM-free games and you don't want you don't like this Steam uh, client through Wine, okay, you can use Steam command. And actually, I already did a installation guide of Prey, the game Prey. So if you have the the game on your Steam uh, library, okay, you can you can uh, install it using Steam CMD, and then you can install the Ste uh, the Linux native binary. So you won't need to use Wine at all, okay. So you'll be able to install the Window version, and then to run the Linux native installer. So if you don't like Wine, there is also this option. The same for uh, Serious Sam, the first and the second encounter. You can do everything without wine. All right, that's it. Hope you hope it was helpful, and I'll see you in the next time, guys. Bye bye.